Right, it's Kids at UK here again. Uh, just a short video on a few different things. Um, none of these are particularly interesting in their own right, and actually some of them are quite modern. Uh, but I thought I'd just cover a few things in one video here, just something rather than nothing really. Um, as you can see, uh, ATX uh, power supply here. Um, it's only a cheap one, but the caps need replacing on this. So it's, um, I've been using this for testing some jammer boards and stuff in the past. Um, and I think the fan, this fan on this side is broken. At some point I tried to get the cap off, I'll show you inside in a minute, but I think it's, I think it's loose, I think the, um, yeah, we'll, we'll have a look anyway. I'll take the lid off and hopefully you can see if I just zoom in. Uh, do, 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 do. Yeah, down here, you see, uh, swollen, swollen caps, so, and the air uh, down there, that one's, sorry, off camera a little bit, on there, the bulging as well, so, certainly these caps around here, these, certainly these four, need swapping out, uh, I'll check some of the others as well, but, uh, yeah, like I say, one of the fans needs replacing on this, I forget which one it is, and the other problem is this fan, can you see, it's just floating, if I push it from the inside here, can you see that, it's just broken, I think something got rammed in there at some point and it's uh, yeah it's broken so uh, I've got a new fan here so I'll fit a new fan as well I think. So I've got the board out there, it's not designed to be serviceable, can you see? Like all the wires are just soldered straight on, there's no connections, you can't disconnect the damn thing. Um, and the screws for this fan here, you've got to get in at uh, an angle, you know, you're trying to get your screwdriver in the ear like this, it's just, uh, yeah, it's just damn near impossible to get that fan out. Um, so I'll take the grill off there, stick it on the new fan, put the new fan in, um, and then I can just, uh, yeah, tilt this at a certain angle so I can actually get access to the underneath the board. It needs a, a vacuum, uh, I can remove the caps, measure some of them. Nothing particularly exciting to see. So I've got the grill on the new fan here, uh, I just need to uh, mount this now, somehow. So the components have arrived, I've got some 3300 uh, low ESRs here at uh, 16 volts, the same again at uh, 10 volts, um, and then a couple of 2200s at 10 volts. So uh, yeah, and they're the right uh, size if you look, they're about a centimetre in diameter, uh, and I think they're two and a half centimetres in height. Um, so hopefully those should fit They'll look exactly the same as the ones I took out. And make sure you've got any grommets and things back in place as well, uh, and just make sure everything's connected. Um, sometimes with these like this, where, where the, you know you can't disconnect some of the cables and the boards flowing around while you're trying to do the work, you could pull one of the wires off, like the mains wire or something like that. So it's, it's worth inspecting it certainly before you uh, power it back up. Um, and then I'll get the lid back on here, screw it on. Um, Look at it in, st stand well back and then just try and uh, switch it on with something like that just to see what happens. And you know what, being the paranoid person I am, I'm going to actually go as far as uh, just making sure the mains lead is actually connected to yeah, earth there. So as you can see, you know, middle pin on the AEC. Yeah. So that power supply is working fine now. Have a look at uh, the caps there, these are the old ones. You can see they are domed on top. Uh, all five of these. I think one of them's all right. I think that one looked okay. That three thousand three hundred sixteen, and it could be because it's a sixteen volt one. The others are ten. You know, it could be that their that extra voltage tolerance on this one's helped this last a bit longer. Um, so there is something to be said for putting slightly larger voltage caps in if you can. I mean, in this case, it might have been an idea to swap them all out with sixteen volt caps because you can see the height. It's just the height. That's the only difference. The, the you know the diameter of there um, is the same. So I could have done that, but I mean, I've used good quality caps. Um, that one's a bit short, I never noticed that one. Yeah, that's the 2200, that's quite short. But uh, yeah, they've all got exact size replacements in there. Um, and hopefully that should uh, last a bit longer so I can use it for testing jammer boards. Some people would have just replaced the power supply. That's probably the cheapest way of doing it, actually. You know, it's cost me about four, four pounds roughly for all these caps. You know, I mean, I've got some spares, as you can see here. I've got uh, uh, spares of, uh, you know, numerous caps there, but still. Um, it would have been easier probably just to just buy another cheap second hand power supply, you know, there's tons of these power supplies on eBay for about £10, £5-ish for a, you know, a cheap, crappy, you know, sort of 300, 400 watt ATX power supply. And a quick look on the meter here, you know, this is to be expected really, you know, this is this is a 3300, it's shown up about 1000, 1000 microfarad, we'll take that off. Uh, let's just try the one that's not domed, uh, I'm just curious to see if that measures anywhere in the region of what it should. Uh, yeah, it's gone off the 2000, that's correct. 
yeah, that's about right. Three thousand two hundred and eighty, roughly. It's, it's, that's in the region of being okay. So the fact it hasn't domed is a good indication that's all right. But the ESR, you know, could be a problem on that as well. Um, I don't think so, though. It's, uh, I think it's unlikely. Um, let's just check this one. This was another three thousand three hundred. Let's see what that is. Yeah, less than a thousand. Again, about nine hundred microfarads there. Let's say three point three k. Um, let's try the other 3,300. That's barely even 400 microfarads. You put that down, down on the next range. Look, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's the problem. Um, well, it's clearly the problem. Obviously, they've leaked. Um, they're exploded. You know, expanded leaks at the top. Um, nearly a thousand on that one. That should be 2,200. So, yeah. Anyway, hopefully you found that interesting. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon.